Hello everybody and welcome back to Vixen Purples Crochet and more. I am your host Cheryl. Hello from Colorado Springs, Colorado where I reside. Today is, what's today? July 13th and we are in a heat wave. Yesterday we hit like 100, and 100 degrees here in the springs. That's not the typical normal. Today we're pushing pretty darn close to it um, at the time of this film uh, video is 1140 and let me see what the temperature is and we're already hitting 95 degrees 1140 and we still have another quite a few hours to go um, so the today's yeah can't talk um, projected high is to be about 98 to 99 degrees not fun <clears throat> so anyhow enough about the weather i hope you guys are staying cool where you're at and i hope everything is going pretty good um like i said today it's kind of warm and it's it's kind of humid out there and um right now it looks like we've got partially cloudy skies but not nothing to write home about so um but at least you know we're doing our normal thing for july at least at this time of the year so today i am kind of on the struggle bus a little bit i don't have a whole lot to show um i did do some completions i'm just trying to look and see if i can think of what i'm trying to do because i can't i don't have no brains today so anyhow um let me show you guys what I have been up to. Um, today, I finished this guy up. Um, I kind of went off, well, let me put it this way. I kind of followed a pattern, but I kind of didn't like the way the pattern was working out compared to what I was seeing in the pictures and the way I was doing it it seemed like it was just not going good so Cheryl deviated from the pattern and decided to go and do her own thing but I will tell you this was kind of an interesting make and um, I don't know if I want to do it again or not but this is what I made I made a little manta ray sting ray whatever you want to call him and um so uh, like i said i finished him up today and that was just putting all the details on him and that and i kind of stitched on the eyes as well as the gills and stuff um but yeah this is uh red heart super saver i believe this is bon bon i'm not 100 percent sure and this is a red heart white and the original pattern called for like blanket yarn or um, like a parfait or honey bunny or something to that effect. But anyhow, let me show you guys the pattern that I was trying to follow but failed miserably at it. It's not the pattern's fault. It could be just me. It just the way my tension is, the way it was working up that kind of stuff and I figured you know what instead of wasting chenille yarn or any type of um, parfait type yarn I didn't want to waste it up and I had a bunch of scraps so I pulled some scraps out and made this guy so this is the pattern I found this pattern on Hobie's or Hobby's website and it's called Connor the Manta Ray pattern and this is what it looks like I do apologize, mine is in black and white, and that's the name, and the designer is right there. Um, and like I said, um, I didn't follow her pattern to the T, because like I said, when I was trying to work the pattern up, it wasn't um, going the way I thought it would go, and it was frustrating me. So that could be on me, not the designer. So please do not think I'm taking cheap shots at the designer because like I said it could be just the way I was reading it the way I was working it up and that kind of stuff I'm gonna still give it another try because I have an I well my husband and I were talking about <coughs> doing um, some stuff to where I could go into like a like a pet store 
um, for example, and maybe take these guys and sell them as dog toys. Um, or if a child sees it, they want it, that kind of stuff. It's just an idea, and this is, helps to get rid of some scraps and also to get rid, you know, make a little extra cash here and there, that kind of stuff like that. So, and, and this is just an idea that I'm thinking of doing, but I have to get some stuff going up first before I can even do that. But anyhow, like I said, this is, was a free pattern. It is on Hobie uh, website, and it, like I said, it was a free pattern. So there's what is she looks like. And, um, but so far, like I said, I'm going to have to redo it and hopefully I'm in a better headspace to do that with. Um, the other thing is I went ahead and cut off the, um, the yarn to the Ophelia, Ophelia Talks, um, Agatha Reading Shawl. Well, anyhow, you guys saw it when I... I had start. I had pretty much. This was the last where I, time I showed showed you. This is the the length of the the shawl from from where I started to here. So I added on like another two, another six or seven rows, and I think it's big enough. So I am going to call it, and I will show you guys here in just a second. So this is what she looks like. All nice and pretty. My husband goes, he goes, I really like those colors. That's really pretty yarn. <laughs> I'm like going, my husband doesn't talk like that <laughs> in a while and stuff. But the funniest thing is I was watching um, last night Happy to Hook Crochet. Uh, yes, Happy, Happy to Hook Crochet or Creations, one of, the, one of the two. And she was showing a whole bunch of stuff that she was making and everything and my husband's sitting here looking at it and he's laughing laughing at the at the, her projects and it wasn't um a mean laugh it was it brought him joy and it was just an an interesting thing to hear from him but anyhow so the Ophelia talk hit show is is done I have two cakes and a partial one. I'm going to set that right there. And this is where I stopped. It was at this one. So I used a, a little bit. So now I've got to figure out what to do with the rest of this cake and um, the other cake. Now, there's probably enough here for me to do a, I want to say a simple granny stitch shawl or something like that. But I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of shawled out right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break from that that yarn so you guys remember that I was using the Siddhar's color wheel Do dazzle so here is the label so this is the label I use here is the lot number and the shade so I have two more labels to go into my um, label bin so at the end of the year, I can kind of figure out how much yarn I've used and go from there. So that's one of the things that I have done. While I was goofing off and making stuff, I can't had some yarn, well basically chenille yarn, and I have them in about this size of cake. There's enough here to do a small project. Well, this is the size of the cake that I'm gonna show you guys on the next project I made. And I know you guys, are going to say do a tutorial well honestly I can't really do a tutorial a tutorial because I can't talk because technically these are two patterns that I combined as one and um, if you go back to my last last video I explained why why now I am thinking because the tails and the the comb that I do is completely different go lay down you guys sorry rascal and oscar are kind of like laying around here and they may want to jump up here and say hi so yes i have all three critters down here and the cats are upstairs wanting to do stuff go lay down rascal go go lay down you bump the cart i'm gonna beat your butt 
that's all there is to it. Anyhow, back to my discussion. So I'm thinking about doing a tutorial for the comb and possibly the tail. I haven't decided yet, but if you guys are interested in something like that, I will try my best. So with no further ado, let me show you what I created. And my husband is is tickled with this he it I mean no sooner did I show him he took pictures and posted it up on his Facebook page which is crazy really crazy so with no further ado here she is so I made me a little a little chicken and this one's kind of got some sass to her because the head is kind of twisted and so is the tail so that's what she looks like and there's the comb I stitched on eyes um, because wasn't thinking to go get some safety eyes so and I thought well you know what I'll try so I put a some little bit of teal for highlights on her eyes and went from there so that is what I got and like I said it took this whole this whole size of a cake and no, I did not weigh it, so I don't know how much it's going to weigh to be put into my thing. So that's going to have to be um, an added extra or something like that. Hold that thought for just a second, guys. Sorry, I dropped my chicken. <laughs> and then Oscar decided to... Oscar, come here. Come up and say hi. And now he's going to sit behind my back and cause it to hurt. So... The other day, I was just kind of goofing off, and I had a size of cake about this. I did not weigh it, and I have a little bit left over, so I'm just going to put that into my scrap bin. But I kind of made a twisted little headband or ear warmer in that, in, with that stuff. So, and it was a soft pink. And what I did was like a half double crochet single crochet and alternated the stitches around. Um, I guess you can call it the Lisa stitch. I'm not sure, but that's what I made. And then I sewed her together and made the head headband. So that is another finished object in here. The other thing I finished off was, you guys might have remembered I had a um, out of one of my totes, I had a Caron Simply Soft um, older yarn. So this is what I had. I don't know if this was a full ball or not, but this is the, the label that I have. And the... Yeah, okay, I just had to tape this up, that's why. So I had this band, this yarn. This is... Consi this is what are you this is called orchid orchid is the colorway on there you can see that that well um, but like I said it was a it was a label so I wound up making a a hat with it and I liked how this the, the definition turned out on this one and I did it with a crab stitch finish um, and go from there. I don't know why I make so many of this one particular style of hat. Maybe it's because it's so easy, plus it my pattern, that kind of thing. So I have this to go in there. I did have a little bit left over, and I'm debating on whether to finish it off and see how much I can get out of it, or just go ahead and frog it and find something else to do with it. But this is what the yarn I had left over. So I was able to make it a top of a hat. I had this fuzziness, <laughs> I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's wool, I don't know if it's what it is, but it's fuzzy, and I thought I would put this together, which really does complement this color, and make another hat with it, I don't know if I'm going to have enough, because that's a lot. So I'm debating on whether to frog this and go from there and see what I can do with something else. and. The, this leftover yarn just probably make a small granny square or something like that and put it in with the other stuff. Um, the it's been about a month ago I think that when Jill was on her live 
and she brought up, um, I believe her name is, uh, Shannon? No. Oh my gosh, I don't remember her name. But it's, uh, Sharon, Sharon, that's it. It's Sharon Sharon's Creates, I believe, and she does these little, um, what they call shoebox, uh, things for children who are in different countries or, um, who are in, in need and stuff like that. And she had some, um, of the Lion Brand Sesame Street One Hat Wonder characters. Well, I have a couple of them too. Well, anyhow, she said she was going to be making loveys with them. And I thought that was a great idea. So I kind of stole some of her idea. So I am working on it. So this is the one that I have. I've got the um, Cookie Monster, I believe it is. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Yes, Cookie Monster. So I have the head in my bag because I'm still not finished with it. And I don't want to lose it. So this is where I've started with the lovey. And I will I will have to say that this is really, really super, super busy. I like how tight it, it feels. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to make it as big as I want it. I may just add a little bit of white because I have lots of white running around here and just put a white trim on it and put the cookie monster and I was thinking about attaching it at the like at the corner when I'm done so like the head goes here and then they would have the the arms I mean the blanket and stuff so I'm still working on it. this is where I'm at you can see I still have quite a ways to go so that is all that I have been kind of up to this week this week has been besides it being warm um, the shop's been kind of busy, so I really haven't had a whole lot of time to do any extra stuff or basically take a break for myself. <laughs> so, and it's the same way at home. I haven't had the extra time to do the things that I need to do. So that is what, those are the, the makes that I have. Now I have another thing that I want to show you guys. You guys will probably remember that um, a fr a one of my friends who does, uh, oh my gosh, storage units, and he gave me a big box of yarn. Well, this, this um, and I probably showed this to you guys before, this was in the, um, the box, and you can see that it's not finished. I'm thinking about just going ahead and frogging it and maybe using this for something else because I know that for me the tension is way too loose and then try to figure out how to get it all nice and tight is just one of those things that I don't really want to do. So my thought is, is to go ahead and frog it because I could still create the granny square like the way this person had and then I could either turn this into a bag or I could turn I can just add some scraps to it and kind of make a a little throw or a baby blanket or something to that effect so those are my dilemmas and stuff like that let me know what you guys think um, should I frog it what do you guys think about the tutorial idea for the top of the chicken? So doing the tail and the comb because honestly, this will most likely become a chicken. But I know you guys really like the combs and the tail and I thought I would do work this up and then kind of work the comb and the uh, tail with you guys. Let me know what you guys think because I know you guys love these chickens and I don't know why they're not that special <laughs> but they that's what I got <laughs> so let me know what you think on that and we can I'll see what we can do um, I love your guys' feedbacks and everything else like that so I don't know um, 
what else is going to be coming on i do know that i will be showing something off here pretty soon as soon as it gets delivered it's supposed to be delivered today um i was a bad girl but i have a reason and i'll explain it in the next re next video when it comes <laughs> so um i promise you it wasn't very much but it was still enough to do nice projects with so with that being said guys i am going to say goodbye well let me back that up i want to say thank you before i say goodbye to everyone that has joined me today thank you to all the new subscribers that i have recently gotten and stuff like that um i'm very getting very closer to the thousand subscriber goal and if you are cruising the uh, YouTube streets and you like what I've seen, what I've shown you guys, um, please le subscribe because you, you never know what's going to go on. This is considered a under construction uh, channel because you don't know what's going to be shown or what's going to be created. Um, that I have other things in my noggin here that I have to get situated to where I can get organized <laughs> and plan this stuff out because there's things I want to do and stuff and Oscar is causing my back to hurt because he's like right behind me and doesn't want to move um anyhow let's see before I forget um yeah I don't know what I'm talking about anymore I'm losing it um yes please hit that subscribe button if you like this, please give the thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps with the algorithms. You know how that is with the YouTube streets. Um, and that gets me out there to see other people or have other people see me. And if they like me, they subscribe to me, and I, which is always appreciative. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I should do that tutorial type for the chicken comb or frog it? for that granny square other than that that is what I've got for you guys I knew do still have some totes to go through I don't I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break I do need to get those filmed and get them ready to go and a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm just blabbering just to be blabbering and not fun so with that being said guys thank you for joining me I do appreciate it I'm going to let you get going now. I wanted to say thank you for everything that you guys are doing. And um, just to kind of an FYI, I am now over, I think I'm over 700. It, it is, it's, it feels slow, but I know it's going to happen. And that thousand's going to be there before I even know it. So yeah, lots of fun. I can't wait to see what happens after that. But anyhow, guys, I want to thank you again. And again, and again, and again. So, big hugs from me to you. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.